This is News Nation Prime. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Rudy Shabazi. Precious Cargo, the first shipment of baby formula from Europe, is here in the U.S. 78,000 pounds of specialty formula arrived in Indiana this morning. It came on a military plane. This is enough to fill more than half a million baby bottles. The Biden administration is calling this effort Operation Fly Formula. Right now, the country is dealing with that nationwide shortage. Shelves in grocery stores empty, leaving parents scrambling. This crisis kicked into overdrive when Abbott, the nation's largest manufacturer of baby formula, closed a large plant in Michigan after four children fell ill with bacterial infections. News Nation's Basil John leads us off tonight from Washington with more on where this load is going first. Ruta Bay, good evening. It's the first part of Operation Fly Formula, and U.S. officials say this will make a big difference in the country. This Air Force C-17 jet touched down in Indianapolis Sunday morning. On board, 40 tons of baby formula. Uh, this shipment provides enough formula uh, to take care of 9,000 babies and 18,000 toddlers. Produced in Switzerland, trucked to Germany, and flown to the U.S., it is the first shipment in the Biden administration's Operation Fly formula. Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack met the flight. He says the normal commercial process would take two weeks to get the shipment to the U.S. As a result of the United States military's involvement, we're going to get this here in a matter of days. Vilsack says this is badly needed formula for babies and children with special dietary needs. Children who have uh, allergies where the regular form formula just simply will not work. However, this first shipment will not fill empty store shelves. It goes to hospitals and some health care facilities across the country, but more shipments are on the way. A single plant shutdown helped create the formula shortage in the U.S. U.S. Economic Council Director Brian Deese told CNN State of the Union the U.S. must encourage more companies to produce formula. So that no individual company has this much control over supply chains. Vilsack promised there is an effort to get this closed formula production facility in Sturgis, Michigan back open as soon as possible. And the expectation is within the next couple of weeks we'll begin to see product from that facility. Vilsack says Americans can expect store shelves to return to normal in a few weeks. Ruta Bay. Basil John, thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.